political clouds gathering over Washington because of a viral video, the question of race and truth. There was embarrassment at the White House today in the case of a black federal official fired for remarks she made about race. You'll remember our story yesterday about Shirley Sherrod. So what happened today? Here's Jake Tapper. Late this afternoon, Agriculture Secretary uh, yeah, Tom Vilsack apologized to Shirley Sherrod. This is a good woman. She's been put through hell. And I asked for Shirley's forgiveness, and she was gracious enough to extend it to me. The public mea culpa came after President Obama privately expressed strong regrets about the whole affair. He talked about the fact that uh, an injustice had happened, that, uh, uh, and that because the facts had changed, uh, a, a review of the decision based on those facts should be undertaken. Actually, the facts had not changed. It's just that the Obama administration finally learned all of them. The story started when a conservative blog and then Shirley cable TV Sherrod ran this video clip of Sherrod at an NAACP dinner earlier this year, talking about a meeting with a white farmer seeking her assistance. So I didn't give him the full force of what I could do. But that clip did not tell the full story. The meeting with the white farmer was 24 years ago when Sherrod worked for a nonprofit and she ended up helping those farmers save their farm. They remain grateful today. The whole video indicates Sherrod's full story was about her changing her views. I've come a long way. And realizing her calling was to help poor people of all races. You know, and they could be black, they could be white, they could be Hispanic. Apparently she's watching this briefing, Shirley Sherrod, on CNN right now. Is there anything you want to say to her? <laughs> on behalf of the administration, uh, I offer our apologies. This shouldn't have happened. Um, took too long, but it makes me feel better that the apology is finally coming. And Diane, Secretary Vilsack suggested he had offered Sherrod another job, but she needed to discuss it first with her family.